restrictions sort of breed creativity oh, yeah. where we we knew we wanted to work towards the finale where there was a wedding mm -hmm. and it had been a conversation throughout like you know this is sitcom budget we can't have a hundred people no. in the you know in the ballroom we we can't have that many extras no. and what wedding do you go to where there's like a handful of people <laughs> yeah. So then we were like, you know, we need a reason why there's a wedding but not many people there. Of course. What's your favourite app? <laughs> I'm going to go with... and Wait, drum roll. Perfect day. Ooh. Series 2, episode 6. <laughs> and what happens? Tell us. Give us a little, give us a little, give us a little. It's the wedding. Yes, it is. Series 2 builds up to this wedding mm -hmm. throughout and i am just very very fond of it i mean there's so like it was a hard it was a hard choice why i don't know why ultimately i fell on this one but i i'm just very fond of it and you wrote this with jim as well right yeah, yeah. So you do you write every episode together, or you go and write separate episodes as well? We mostly. mostly have written together on this. I did one with Ben in series three. Okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And what's your writing vibes like? Are you sat in a cafe somewhere cute? Sat in your nice little basement? Like, we what's... sit in each other's each gardens. other's homes. Oh, that's homes. cute. Yeah. Pass laptop back and forth, or you write a scene, you write a scene. Yeah. Summertime. Yeah, mostly I'm a bit of a pacer. Matt's at the at the coal face. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very cute. Yeah. Snacks? Cheese? Oh, snacks, oh, yeah. Jim lunches. makes me the loveliest. Oh, because you're like a cook cook. I can, I'm more of a barbecue bore. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I can cook. But Matt can cook too. Yeah? You know, Matt's made me some excellent... What's uh, he made you? Sorry. Matt, Matt's <laughs> yeah. made me like, we're talking cassoulet. Oh. We're talking, because it's the vegan lunches. Yeah. So it's an incredibly healthy time, and I'm going to miss it. Oh. Um... Do you get find that you're more farty when you've been writing at my house? I can't really differentiate the <laughs> like a sort of bit of a windy pops anyway. <laughs> sure. Um, um, anyway, so perfect no, day. yeah, so perfect day. Look, there's always there's always a um so why was it your absolute favourite? What made it your absolute fave? There's so much that happens in it. There are so many threads. I'm really proud of like how much we wove into it. I really love how there's there's like a kind of Shakespearean fa or mm. farcy element to it where Mike and Alison are kind of like mishearing that there's like miscommunications happening yeah. and that then they're making presumptions about each other because they just heard a snippet. Of, yeah, when of Mike like overhears that yeah. little bit and you see his face at the end, you're just like... Oh. It has a really beautiful sort of coming together of everything where Mike and Alison's relationship mm. suddenly is woven into the to the relationship of these two women who are going to get married. There's Lady Buttons. Oh, she you know, she goes through of, it, boy. She her kind of through it. Her realization that you know, like she's. I almost felt like I was having a kind of a conversation with a kind of with my own homophobic grandmother mm. kind of thing where it's like she kind of she's kind of confronted with the realisation that actually things would have been better for her yeah. if her husband could have loved who he chose to love yeah, and she'd have been released and freed by that and and not killed yeah I'm, and the yeah. way that Humphrey is the person who you know ignites that realisation in her uh, and then there's this beautiful sort of Pat backstory mm. with uh, Keith Darren Dean. Yeah. And I really remember when we were writing, we had almost, we had everything I've just described in there. And it was like, it felt, it all felt really kind of cleverly woven and it had all these great ingredients, but it kind of, mi it was missing something for mm. ages. We were like, it doesn't feel like it's got like a big sort of like comic moment or idea mm -hmm. and then we landed on the idea of the physical fight that they had. oh my god and yes that, so that was like the moment where it was like ah <laughs> oh, now we've yes. got now it's all there like that moment was really fun the idea that oh they've 
they've never had a fight before and they've and they realize that they can beat the crap out of me, yeah. Because they're ghosts, yeah. they will just keep recovering and resetting so yeah. they can kind of hit each other as hard as they like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And um that, that, was, really, that was a yeah. real breakthrough, I think, with the Such a break just having a, through, that set yeah. piece. Was it really fun to film as well? Yeah, really fun. Other. Katie was so funny in that sequence <laughs> as well. Like, going nuts. What was she doing again when she was just going off? She just, yeah, she goes like, she's sort of the, the most extremely violent of bunch, I think, in that moment. Yeah. And, um, she headbutts the captain. Yeah, she? that's it. She headbutts the captain. <laughs> that was the hardest thing, I think, writing that. What we got stuck on, I remember being in Matt's house and we were going back and forth on... Really, it was Alison and Mike. Everything else was fine, mm. but it was what do they know at, at what point? Like, yeah. Who knows what, when, and how do they feel? Yeah. And how are they displaying yeah. this? I thought These feelings of rejection. It's but rejection, really. Yeah, and and how that sort of resolves is is done like a perfect rom com. Like one of my favorite moments from that episode is when um Alison sat with the bride on the stairs and she's like, "Oh, did she have second thoughts?" I think yeah, I'm yeah. butchering your lines, but yeah. something like that and. You just see uh, Charlotte plays it so beautifully. Yeah. Like, how do you deliver this news without trying to destroy the world, but also be a little bit honest? Because yeah, yeah. that's what marriage is about, guys. Yeah. It's about honesty yeah. and yeah. truth. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Would you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then yeah. you can, like, if I overheard my wife having a conversation with <laughs> a really. potential bride on her wedding day and, and her saying, you know, I had second thoughts <laughs> about marrying Jim, I would be a bit hurt. Yeah, I don't want to hear it. I wouldn't end it. No. I would be a bit like, oh, I don't need to ask you about this because I've heard it and we won't, you know, I get it, but I'm, ouch. A, bit, I'm a bit ouch about that. Yeah. Yeah. But they but they work through it. And I think there's a beautiful bit when the two brides come together and they kiss and uh, Mike and Alison just share that look, that knowing look of like, ah, mm. like, I love you. I've got this. It's so nice. And Tom... Uh, uh, shot that so beautifully as well and also the snow man it just added another yeah. sort of beautiful that element to thing, it but that was like a really good example where um uh what's the word Res restrictions sort of breed creativity oh, yeah. where we we knew we wanted to work towards the finale where there was a wedding mm -hmm. and it had been a conversation throughout like you know this is sitcom budget we can't have a hundred people no. in the you know, in the ballroom, we we can't have that many extras. No. And what wedding do you go to where there's like a handful of people? <laughs> yeah. So then we were like, you know, we need a reason why there's a wedding, but not many people there. Of course. Um, mm. And had this idea about a blizzard that sort of kept people from getting there. And yeah, you suddenly like that problem becomes a real virtue of the story because yeah. it kicks everything off. And it's the very sense of adversity, you know, that it gives stakes to Alison and Mike's thing, which is like the wedding now symbolizes can we make a go of mm. doing events in this house? Yeah. So like they're so invested in it going ahead. And of course, it going ahead is is about the marriage of these two people yeah. and whether their love is going to conquer all. And you know, if they can't conquer this obstacle, you know, what's, the, what's their future? Yeah. So, yeah, like, and literally that came from like, well, we can't have a hundred guests, so we've got to come up with a reason. That's why such a nice way to do it. Left. Generally, when you see snow on TV and film, you you guys are usually shooting on like the hottest day of the year. Was it mm. was it a cold, wintry, summery shoot, or was that was sort winter, of winter? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's nice. Funny, yeah. The funny thing is, I that's think nice. we had real snow on other days. Oh, but I don't think we. Had <laughs> You're like ah, when yeah. we were doing that. When you were shooting it. Yeah.